Hi everybody, I've uh, got another lesson for you today. Uh, this one is Sandstorm by Cast. Very underrated song by a very underrated band as usual. And um, the thing to remember on this song is that we're tuned, well, the original song is tuned down half a step on the record. So bear that in mind if you want to play along with the record. But for, for this video, I'm going to be in standard tuning. Um, it's a very simple song. Um, it's pretty much the same chords all the way through. Um, Apart from a few discrepancies here and there and the only tricky bit is really the the wah solo which was in the intro so without further ado let's crack on okay yeah so um it's just basically four chords this song for the majority of the song and those chords are just g b flat uh, f and c and it's just You've got that kind of percussiveness in between, so one, got two, two strums down, two strums down, and that is them. Honestly, it's the, it's the same chords all the way through. Uh, there is a little um, bridge section, which is the same chords again, just broken down. Take you by the hand. Same chords, but towards the end he sticks in a D and then an F. Then we go back into it. Around, around, around. And then, um, and that's the whole way through, that they are the chords, and then towards the end, you, they sort of change the rhythm, they go. And then it stays on the C, right on the end. And that's all the rhythm parts. Which leads me to the solo section, well, also, what the other guitar is doing for most of the song. Now, most of his parts are basically um, what we call octaves. And they're basically all first finger on the D string and little finger. Or your, if you can do if you do your third finger, do that. But it's, it's easier with your little finger on the B string. And then you mute all the other strings. And it's just a case of... You know, sliding them up and down without letting any of the other strings ring out. Um, so there's a few, there's a few parts in this. If you listen carefully, um, one of them he goes like this. Okay. So if you imagine using your first finger as your your visual, so we'll say first finger. Sorry. And then add the, the little finger. There's always two frets between on these octave shapes. So, sorry. So the first one is, so from the third fret to the fourth, and then back. Do it twice. And then you slide up to the eighth. Sorry. <laughs> it's really hard to do this slow. And then this next one, you go up to the tenth. It's quite a jump. Okay. Um, then we have the solo, which is very similar. And there's obviously a wah. It goes something like this. Okay, if you can master the octave shape and, and you can master moving it about, you will master the solo. It's as simple as that. You just gotta practice your octaves. So the actual notes are 
And, you know, and with every push the wire down, you, you try and, you know, try and sing with your foot almost. Again, it's a feel thing, so. But yeah, the notes are so the same two as the as, as earlier. So go from the third fret using this finger as your guide to the uh, fifth fret. That's the first one, and depress the wire. And there you go, slides up to the what's that? Tenth fret, tenth to the twelfth, and then eighth to the tenth, and back. So far, we've got this. And then again. And then we go around again. So think of it as the, you're almost copying the, the vocal melody with these, um, <coughs> excuse me, with these octave, octaves. <laughs> So you, that whole section you do twice, and then you go. So it's just the same two notes again. So third fret to the fifth fret, then you go back to the third fret, and then he jumps up to the eighth fret. And just kind of like a does a couple as you press the wire. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, I think there's four. And then he goes right up here. Now, this time you change strings. So now you go to the G string and the high E string. Okay. And you're on the 12th fret and the 15th fret and you're muting everything else and if you pull the wire right back and then you just kind of hold it and gradually depress the wire okay so you just hold those two notes mute everything else if you can you know, Last two notes, and that's 13 on the high E, 13 on the high E, 12 on the high E, B 15, and B 13, and back to 15. Let's show you. And give the wire some of that on each note. I think he's got, you know, a couple of other little effects going on, but I'm not a pedal person, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's a sandstorm. Um, I hope that helps some of you out there. Um, till the next one, guys. See you later.